Welcome to the first impression and unboxing of the Hype Crusader in 700. I actually wanted to buy the 76 or the 711, but I was too late on the sale, and so I only could buy the 70, which is okay because for wing foiling I don't want the super big board, and since I'm not that tall and not that heavy, I thought I could get away with downwind foiling and flat water pedal up with a 70. We will see if that works. It's very nicely packed, you get a bag with it, which is nice, and some repair stuff, and you get those awesome foiling things that make you switch your foils from the different boards much faster. I tried them, they are great, I really love them, they save you a lot of time. Then the whole board is like easily packed, you can pump it up to 20 psi, which is quite hard, and everything so far looks quite nice. While pumping up I wanted to see how fast or how long do I take, but while taking the pump off I used the adapter and while opening it I opened the adapter and so all the air came out, so I had to kind of redo it, which is really annoying, it's really difficult to take the adapter off without letting all the air off. Um, so this is not the best thing that I have to say, otherwise the price is very good for what you get. So this is my first negative thing I would say, that's why it took me like almost 4 minutes to pump it up, really almost twice. Really otherwise it's nice, you can see it has a little bit of rocker shape with the inflatable, you get a nice um, space where the foil fits, you have some um, some numbers to see how far you can push it and this is it 21 inches and with six in depth and here you see those awesome screw things I don't know how you call them but it works really great once you um, adjusted it so otherwise um, what to say I took it with the straps I think which is great for wing foiling and I want to use it also for flat water paddle ups and see if it helps I'm not sure what a lot of people in the different forum wrote that it annoys it's a bit annoying while standing on it and that's totally true but kind of if you put them on I think then it's better but I have to find out this is my first time on the water with the Hype Crusader in the beginning it feels a bit shaky here I'm trying to pump and see how good it reacts to me pushing it and all in all it's not too bad of course it's a bit uh, more reactive more um, quick than a normal stand-up paddle board and I tried my first times to pump but as you can see I do almost everything wrong I'm trying to pump with my board with my legs and also then paddle really hard that's why it looks a bit awkward I'm doing probably everything wrong but so far um, I didn't get very far but it was kind of fun I didn't think that it would be so exhausting for the shoulder, but I like it that it's not only a workout now for the legs, but also for the upper body and for the shoulders. So I think all in all, I will have quite some good workouts this summer, and I will keep you updated on how long I take to pump up or to flat water pedal up this Hype Crusader in 70. My weight is 65 kilos and my height is 1 meter 70, so I think it should work with a 70 board. But maybe it's, I might be mistaken. I need to work probably on my pedal technique a lot, which is not the best. It's easy to pedal straight when you are normally pedaling, but while you pedal aggressively, it's much more difficult to pedal straight. Okay, so that was my first session. It was really exhausting. I'm already really tired. It will be really challenging, but fun. So thank you for watching if you have any. Um, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, I did probably everything wrong, so you can comment on that as well. Otherwise, thank you for watching, have a great day, and may the fall be with you always.